okay? Now, rewriting this, I got I n divided by I n take away 2 equals to n take away 1 divided by n. Okay, now this one is 2n plus 2, this one's 2n, but I got a minus here, it's not a problem. All you have to do is that you, what you put inside n would be 2n plus 2, okay? I know algebraically it's not too right, okay? It's no pun intended, okay? But just substitute 2n plus 2 inside here. So I got i, 2n plus 2, okay, divided by, now i, i n, 2n plus 2 minus 2 would be i, 2n. Okay, not a problem at all. 2n plus 2 minus 1 would be 2n plus 1, and then 2n plus 2 at the bottom, like so. Okay, so this is equal to this using our reduction formula. Now I can bring this over back here, okay, and write it as 2n plus 1 divided by 2n plus 2 is less than or equals to i 2n plus 1, i 2n is less than or equals to 1. Okay. Now, the last step is to show this, right? This tends towards 1 is n tends towards infinity. Well, this is the inequality that I have, okay? And as n tends towards infinity, can't you see that this thing, okay, or this equation over here, sorry, this form um, equation over here would tend towards 1 because infinity divided by infinity or a huge number divided by an equally huge number is equal to 1. I got one over here, so this thing over here would be smack right in the center, okay? And that is one, okay? So, i 2n plus one divided by i 2n tends towards one, and that would be the equivalent to this one over here, okay? Does that, is that okay? Yep, that is okay, I hope you can see that. So, finally, the last step or the last piece of the puzzle, what we're gonna do now is that we're just gonna simply divide this these two, okay? Because you see, this is what we have. This is a fact that we're gonna use that this tends towards one is n tends towards infinity, but this is actually this thing over here, right? Dividing this one by this one over here, okay? Or, sorry, my apologies. Dividing this one by this one over here, okay? So, we will just do that now and you'll see what we get. Okay, so this is the thing that we've established. So our last step would be Okay, dividing this one by this one over here. Okay, so i 2n plus 1 divided by i 2n, okay, is equals 2. Now, when we divide, now, it looks a bit messy because this is, is a product sum, product series, this is a product series, but basically, whatever we take here, we just invert it, and we're going to times by the one up here. So, 2, uh, two over 3, I take this, I invert that, I got 2, 1, okay? Let me just rewrite that to make it, to show that the, the series comes out, okay? 2 divided by 3. Now the second one, I got a 3 divided by 4. So I just invert that, I get a 4 divided by 3. Why? Because I'm dividing it. I'm dividing it. So I need to invert it, then I multiply. Then I got a 4 divided by 5. Okay, continue. 6 over 5 times 6 over 7. Okay, all the way to 2n, 2n minus 1, okay, and times by a 2n, 2n plus 1, okay, and then I will have to divide this, so I will get a 2 pi, 2 divided by pi, okay? See, this one is pi divided by 2, I'm dividing it, so I have to switch it around. So now, last step would be to bring this over here and to bring this over here. Because what do you want? We want the pi over 2. Pi over 2 goes to one side, equals to this whole thing again. All the way to this one over here, 2n, 2n minus 1. 2n, 2n plus 1, and I got the i 2n divided by i 2n plus 1. Okay? And finally, the last step, pi divided by 2 is equal to taking the limit as n tends towards infinity of, okay, this one over here. All the way to 2n. 2n take away 1 times 2n, 2n plus 1. Okay, if, which is the same. We just take n towards the infinity. So if we remove that the limit, okay, we will just simply express the, the, the series, the multiplication series all the way. So if we just erase this, okay, we will just go on, go on, okay, and to infinity. And there we go. Wallis product by John Wallis. 
1656, American mathematician. Wally, John Wallace discovered this thing that pi divided by 2 is this infinite series, okay, where we are taking even numbers at the top, odd numbers at the bottom, and multiplying them together. And it shows its face or its holds vital importance to some pure and applied mathematics, which at this level I do not know, but what I do know is that I like this what I see over here, okay, using reduction formula and some calculus and some series limits. Okay, I'm a bit tired now from showing that, but I hope I managed to do the formula justice. Okay, thanks.